welcome back to my number across the new horizons i'm dear darling yes you'll see what's going on on our lovely island of fawn hollow today where we'll be well I've, I've got to talk about this because this is the wildest thing which um i've uh, found out from actually it's even weird where i found out from because i found out from a reddit post about a tumblr post so i, I guess so it's sort of like multiple layers of social media down i really need to sneeze so i'm just sort of like biding my time but it's about to appear on screen so i can sneeze but I don't know if that sneeze is ever coming. But did you know there's a Tom and Jerry gacha game? And did you know that the artwork goes quite hard for what I, I expected? <laughs> Harder than I expected. Anyway, good evening, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 10.09pm on Thursday, August 10th, 2023. So yeah, I mean, I mean I've mean, i spoken about catch games before where, you know, no, no, I'll just get out of the way. No, I do not agree with their monetization practices, but I do like the fact that gacha not gacha games it's just that more i like games which have like a continuous small drip of ongoing sort of updates and things like that and it just happens to be that gacha games tend to commonly fill them out role because instead of being a one and done purchase they are like a you know continuous stream of income coming in if you know if you've ever seen kenshin and packs them total revenue every single month um you certainly know what i mean uh but so Get out of the way, you know, gacha games are like... It, I, gacha games are... I don't agree with monetization, but the aesthetics and the startings, unfortunately, uh, does appeal to things I like. Um, especially because a lot of times in gacha games, it's very common for them to, you know, have, like, aesthetic-based artworks, you know, like skins in League of Legends, that sort of thing, which, you know, I enjoy quite a lot. But did you know there's a, a Tom and Jerry gacha game? And did you know it plays, like, Dead by Daylight, kind of? And did you know that it has the splash arts where it go quite they go quite hard for really no apparent reason? Not all of them. I, I want to preface. You're not going to look at it and be like, whoa, this is like the Mona Lisa or something. You're going to look at them and be like, this looks like any sort of like generic like mobile gacha game. And that's true, you know. A lot a lot of their like splash arts. Yeah, I, I, okay, hold on. Like, I don't know much about this game. So, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. But they have, like, different rarities of skins, unsurprisingly. And then, I, I will say, everything but the s rank skins. The splash arts look like something you might see, like, in a Flash game or something online. But then, like, the s the, the s rank skins, a lot of them go really hard, like, for no apparent reason. Like, they look, they look like splash arts or, like, a MOBA or something. Except for they're all Tom and Jerry themed. And even sh it's even stranger. Because it, it's a Chinese game, I think, or something. Like right, so it takes after you know um, the gacha sort of aesthetics, I suppose that you know these games tend to have. So you know they they always have like uh, if you're not particularly familiar with familiar with gacha games, it's very common for like these sort of like not or kind of fan servicey, I suppose aesthetics to go on. Well, it would be like oh you have these like really cool characters, and then it'd be like oh in summer it's a summer event where everyone's like in swimsuits and you know like on the beach and stuff like that, and it's, it's like a, a, sh a real sense of um, aesthetic dissonance, I suppose, from the actual game itself. And then I'll be like oh there's also like a X Y Z aesthetic as well, and it's just really random because this this Tom and Jerry gacha game it seems I, I looked through all the skins because you know why not. Uh, this Tom and Jerry gacha game seems to have all these aesthetics as well, <laughs> just that apply to Tom and Jerry characters. And mind you, I don't even know like many of these Tom and Jerry characters. I recognise some of them. Um, like obviously you recognise Tom and Jerry and like the eight different spin-offs of Tom and Jerry each. But then there's just like these random characters thrown in. Like some of them recognise. Like one of them is like Tara or something, who is like was cowgirl, like. Um, excuse me, love interest for um, Tom in, like, one episode. Um, and I only really know her because there's, like, that popular gif of, like, Tom, like, smoking a cigar or something and making, like, weird smoke patterns, um, you know, in a very sort of cartoon sense. And it's just, like, <laughs> I've got to imagine, if you're developing the game, you're sort of just like, oh, man, like, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel for characters here in Tom and Jerry franchise. Tom and Jerry is not really known for having an ensemble cast, you know. <laughs> it's, just, it's just very funny, I suppose. And it's even wilder, the fact that some of the, the splash arts just go, like, really hard. Like, um, there's one, it's, like, a musketeer, I can't remember, some musketeer cat or mouse, I don't remember. And she's got, like, a splash art, like, which is, like, a night, no. Like, I, I can't remember what it's called, it's, like, it's, like, Fawn of Roses or something. And I was, like, this splash art, like, genuinely looks really good. And there's another one of, like, a conductor version of tom or something has this like really cool um like splash hours on i'm just like why it's so random it's, it's actually kind of aspirational if anything 
you know some artists out there is just like you know i could just like cash it in like phone it in and cash it in on this tom and jerry catch game because you know people people who are playing this are playing us very much of a media property rather than the actual necessarily quality of splash arts or something and no one's expecting like league of legends-esque splash arts and they're not quite on league of legends like splash art levels or like triple a titles i suppose but it's some artist was like yeah no you know what i'm gonna commit hard to this i'm gonna like make this actually like a genuinely like cool looking splash art and it's just like i gotta give props to that it's exactly like the sort of thing which you know like tickles my fancy it's like hey let's just take um it, it's my favorite thing about not my favorite thing about gacha well maybe it's my favorite thing about gacha games it's not like there's <laughs> uh but if i say it like that it makes it sound like i'm like over overwhelmingly in support of them but i love the fact i love like a lot of the artworks which happen in gacha games um because i think it's cool not all of them mind you Bear in mind, you know, the games I play is, like, not... I, I don't play in, like, a wide range of gacha games. Compared to the average person, yes. Compared to, like, a gacha gamer, no. Um, but things like Project Sakai, especially, like, a lot of the card arts are, like, really cool. And they have, like, really cool aesthetics. It's basically... That's what I kind of, like, is that they take these aesthetics and apply them to the characters. But it's so strange seeing it just for, like, Tom and Jerry characters. Especially for Tom and Jerry characters I've never heard. Anyway, you might be like, hey, dear darling, are you going to play this game? Absolutely not. <laughs> I just I just find it funny, to be perfectly honest. Like, oh, Musketeer Tom has another one who's like, splash outs go really hard, and I can't remember which, like, cat character this is or something, but, like, she has, like, a load of really good um, ones as well. Like, one of them is, like, a, um, like a Swan Lake-esque ballerina thing, and I was just like, why? What? <laughs> who's doing this? <laughs> it's so, it's so random. But I've got to be honest, if I was an artist, like, if, if I was at their level and I suppose I was an artist working on my thing, I'd be like, this is like a, you know, I'm going to go hard, you know, like, why not? Because then someone in the corner, corner of the universe is going to find it and just be like, wow, why does this, this Tom and Jerry artist go so hard on these, like, skin art artworks for almost no apparent reason, you know? And it's just like, put some respect on that name, you know? It's pretty, it's, you got to respect the commitment is basically the long and short of it. Um... I don't know where I was going with this, to be honest. I, I looked at some of the gameplay and I, I, I essentially had no clue what was going on. It looks like, I guess, I guess it kind of looks like a 2D, um, Dead by Daylight. Except for I don't really understand what's going on. It kind of, it kind of looks like a Flash game, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to look at it. I didn't look at it and be like, wow, this looks amazing. I've got to, like, play it now. I sort of, like, watched it and was like, I can... I don't really understand what's going on because it looks like the cats are just sort of like standing. But basically, if you don't know what Dead by Daylight is, sorry, I should probably start here. It's an asymmetric horror sort of survival game where one person plays like a killer, like a, normally like a horror killer um, from a lot of popular horror franchises. I think I've done crossovers with Dead by Daylight or just like a made up one. And then the other four people play survivors. What they need to do is they need to go around the map restarting generators to be able to open a door and escape. And then all the time the killers are trying to, you know, incapacitate them and then, like, attach them to hooks. So that the, the survivors will slowly, like, die. And it's, a, it's an asymmetric game, which I think is cool. I, I think asymmetric games are, like, in general, are, like, a really cool concept. Then it should be done more. But I suppose it's a lot of effort. So, you know, I don't I don't blame, you know, developers for not really, like, going with, going with that as, like, a default option, I suppose, for game modes. Um, but, but it genuinely is pretty cool you know i'm not going to talk from a competitive level because i've never played it i don't even know the game i've never even played it it just like looks cool um but you know i'm not going to talk from a competitive level because apparently it's kind of broken from a competitive level i don't know so it plays a similar thing like that where you play as like tom or any other cat i suppose as the killer quote quote and then there's like four jerrys in a game i think that from what i understood from watching the videos we're trying to push cheese into a hole and then the cats are trying to incapacitate them and then attach them to fireworks <laughs> uh firework rockets to like blow them up in a very cartoony style it's but the whole concept that this even exists is one of the most hilarious things you know say what you want i suppose about gacha games in general but you know 90 percent of the time they'll they'll just be like soulless cash grabs or whatever about some media property but then this 10 percent of the time they'll still be a cash you know grab you know we're very exploitive i suppose monetization models but they still you know have some like strange amount of merit where it feels like you're in a fever dream i suppose when you like hear about it like yeah you can i haven't even told you what it's called it's called tom and jerry chase you can google it probably like hold on i, I don't i don't know what comes up when you google it necessarily tom and jerry chase well apparently you can just like get it on the app store i, I thought it was just a chinese app but no, here it is. It's just on the App Store. 
Join the fast-paced and wild 1v4 battle game. <laughs> um, and yeah, you, you can see some of the skins. That's Musketeer Tom skins. That's, I, I don't know, I guess, like, I don't even really know who Tuffy is. <laughs> That's nothing. Like, we just have, like, a made outfit skins for. I, I gotta say, it's really weird. Like, obviously, that's like an anime trope, which is sort of like, you know, it's kind of one I roll my eyes at most of the time, to be honest, because I'm, it, it's very much this sort of like, yeah, in my opinion. And let's take over the Victorian made route, which is pretty cool, but it, it's never that, of course, it's anime, come on. Um, I'm not going to go into uh, some sort of tirade about it, because like, whatever, but it's just like, it's so weird, because they have that skin, but for a, for a Tom and Jerry character, it's like, what is going on? I, I feel like I'm in a fever dream, the fact that this game even exists. And that's not me meant to put like any shade on the developers or, any, or anything, they've clearly... Okay, well, I, I'd say they put like some effort into it, but you know... I'm, the reviews are all one star, <laughs> to be honest, right now, so... May, maybe it's not as good as, you know, I, I, should give, I shouldn't give it that much credit, but it's just like... What is, what is going on? How does this exist? It's so... Sh it's bizarre. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to think. Um... But as I say, aspirational, the fact that you, you put a lot of effort into something which could have been a joke. But if if you put enough effort into something which is a joke, it, it sort of like loops around to becoming like cool again, I think. <laughs> well, at, at least that's my, that's my opinion, right? Like you, you might as well put in this effort in something which feels like... Cause it, okay, if, it, if it's expected to be a joke, I mean, you might as well subvert expectations, right? That, that's my opinion. You know, you might as well put in effort and then make it look... And make it like so people are like whoa this is actually like surprisingly good you know why not um so yeah to tom and jerry jace hold on skins that's what you that's what you gotta look at and just like so some of them are like uh eh, some of them like use very much a tom and jerry style but then some of them are like properly like 3d rendered and it's just like what it it's just so wild how does this exist what other ones exist which like, I don't even know about. I don't know. And I'm not going to say Tom and Jerry has the most expired character designs. I mean, Tom and Jerry are great. But then like every other character in the game is like... <laughs> Tom, but slightly different. Or Jerry, but slightly different. And uh, certainly all the female characters are basically like... Tom with copious amounts of eyeshadow and eyeliner. <laughs> you know, it very much falls into the sort of... um The pitfall of like... um female character designs you know just like slapping a bow on something but it's just like it's so I, I i feel like i'm in a parallel dimension it's basically the best way i can describe it it's just like how not how does this exist but like well yeah i mean, I mean it's not i don't even think it's necessarily a bad thing it exists or something wow look hold on there's someone's art station of them doing a splash art share creators and you, you can see the you can see their thoughts behind it, like um, the process behind them actually creating a splash up. That's pretty cool. Is there more of this? How do I how do I search for explicitly Tom and Jerry? Time Warner and no, to, to, okay, maybe I had such Tom and Jerry. Art Station has a lot of like actual official developers who've done this sort of thing. And you can see their process. What is this? Tom and Jerry 2021 concept work. Wait, but oh yeah, there was a Tom and Jerry 2021 movie. I wonder if this was made in like partnership or like riding off a of coattails of that's was it was it even a success? I don't I don't you don't know. There's not even a Wikipedia article about this. There is a Tom and Jerry Chase Wiki though. I, I just I just don't even know what to think. Is this not hold on, maybe I should start Tom and Jerry Chase. Yeah, and Hide AI. Like, some of them are on here. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I don't even know what to think. Like, look, look at these splash arts. I mean, you can't see them. You can search on that station. Just like, look at these splash arts. It's like, what? <laughs> it's just the most bizarre thing. I gotta say, these sketches actually have a lot of personality in them as well. I'm not gonna lie. 
I'm just looking at this stuff now. Like, it, it's, it's like, it went through, like, a proper, like, splash out development process and everything. I mean, I, I don't see why it wouldn't, to be honest. And, like, I, I think most art probably does, to be honest. But it's just like, I don't, I don't know. It feels like I'm in a parallel dimension. To a certain degree. Where it's just like, how... I, I can't, I feel like, overstate how weird it feels. But not, like... It's not like in, in a bad way necessarily, I suppose. It's not It's not like I'm like, ugh, why does this exist? It's more like a, huh? <laughs> I can't believe this exists and I can't believe... Well, I'm not going to say it's like extremely polished necessarily. It's, it's not going to be winning any... What, what's the video game awards called? Which is, I mean, I know there's video game awards, but there's like, you know, I'm trying to think of a term like Oscar or Emmy or Grammy. Um, I don't remember. But there's like a term for the... The video game ones, I think, but I don't remember what it is. It's just like, I can't believe it. It's like, I don't know. It's a deficit, I suppose, of the fact I'm talking to myself in these Animal Crossing videos. Is I, I don't have anyone else to also be like, yeah, that's actually the, the weirdest thing. Oh, you're ill. We can't get you medicine, though, because unfortunately, the shop's, the store's closed. But yeah, there's no one else where I can be like, hey, isn't this like super weird? And then they can bounce back and be like, yeah, this is like super crazy. <laughs> I guess weird has a lot of loaded negative connotations, but I don't know. If you want, you can go play it. You know, you can download it from Play Store, see how it is. You can tell me, tell me how is it? Is it good? Is it bad? Am I going to play it? No. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> like, I suppose if I want to play asymmetric competitive game, I, I would play Dead by Daylight. But even then, I'm not really like dying to play Dead by Daylight, I suppose. But um, I'm, I'm just sort of like surprised it exists. I don't know what I'm going to talk title of this episode. I'm not going to call it Tom and Jerry Chase because I haven't really spoken about it. I mean, I have spoken about the game, but I haven't, like, played it or anything like that sort of thing. I'll call it... Um... I don't know. <laughs> unexpected effort. Un unexpected ex... No, hold on. I, I was going to say unexpected execution, but that's all. That seems to have, like, a more negative connotation than I meant. Uh, unexpected... Unexpected... Polish. How about that? <laughs> something, something like that. That's what it's, it might read as unexpected Polish, but whatever. It's just like I don't, I don't know what to think. Tom and Jerry Chase. One, it's a thing, and then two, the splash art's kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna round this episode off here. So if you haven't been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been dear darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares, greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's over. Well, until next time. Bye bye for now.